wrote that song that goes um, A B C D E F G H N Who was that? Huh? Is that Ariana Grande? It's no, that's older. It's Elton. That's a Elton. Yeah. Elton Johnson. No, and then it ends. It ends. <laughs> w S Y Z. Something like I don't know. Something like that. Do you know the song? I've never heard that song. I was at the club last night. And I Does it? Can anyone? Um. <laughs> at the club last night. And I heard the song. It was yeah. Like, it was like. Wait, say that. Sing it again. It's like. <laughs> it's like yeah, dude, I forgot that song. Was that a? That's young. That, that wasn't. That wasn't Jeezy, was it? I think it's NBA. NBA Young Boy. Bringing back so many memories from childhood. Like what about the, the one that goes? You know? yeah. What about the one that goes? Grant. 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 Yeah. How did you know that song? That's a song that my parents just sang to me. I thought did your parents write really? that. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Tommy, you drinking a glass of piss over there? Drinking a hot glass of piss. Nice. Yeah. Some, sometimes I just like to start my. Hey, don't talk to me unless I've had my morning piss in my mouth. <laughs> don't even talk to me until I've paid a Russian prostitute to piss just, in my mouth. To you piss shower directly right now, you're in, in the my morning mouth. Type of guy. Both, baby. Yeah. How are you well, guys doing, man? I'm good, dude. I. I I uh, convinced two 16 year old boys to follow me on Twitter last night at the show. Okay, that was me and Grant in disguise. <laughs> um, I was like, I went up to him and I was like, "Don't say convinced, too." Yeah, dude, it's weird. I tricked him. And 16 year old boys. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I don't like how I don't like you put a lot of emphasis on. Well, I was like 16 year old uh, boy. At, at least call them <laughs> teens. I was drunk. I was really drunk. I was this like, is getting, even worse. It's just getting worse. <laughs> I was like hammered, right? And I come up to them like busting tables. I'm like, I'm like, y'all trying to drink illegally? And they're like, what? And Wait, they like, were working there? Yeah. I was Wait, like, what did you say? I was like, y'all trying to drink illegally tonight? And they were like, what? And I was like, I'll fucking, if you guys give me like 20 bucks, I'll get you one beer. Are you serious? <laughs> but, yeah. I was like, doing this. And then, like, I was fucking with them. We're, we're, how were they reacting? Were they laughing? They were laughing, but I think kind Dude, of. Dude, you just, just want like, friendship. You just want the teens to think you're cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then, so then, like, I kept talking to them. And then I was just, like, genuinely giving them life advice. <laughs> like, God. Like, I was like, listen, man, drinking and driving, only do it if you know you're good at it. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, it is funny because I have this thing. If after I have a good set somewhere, yeah. I'm like, I'm talking with, like, a lot of confidence about yeah. a large range of things yeah you know, of course politics comedy you know i'm giving out relationship advice you know <laughs> if i have a bad set i'm like i'm like i'm sorry i have to leave i have to go kill myself like i was um yeah i had the confidence thing i was lying to women and just saying that i would eat their pussy like guaranteeing it i was like i'll eat your fucking pussy <laughs> just going i was lying through my teeth by saying yeah. <laughs> that i give head to women yeah <laughs> um also which i also do through my teeth i'm very bad at it yeah no, a lot of teeth in there incredible oral <laughs> grant what you're the, listening to this you you raised your son right the incredible moral oral right also, also this is the we cool podcast a podcast where we apologize for things demand apologies and we go down on women <laughs> and yes yes we do we are gentlemen we believe um, in probably the Probably the most out of any guys around. Mm -hmm. Just That's in cumulative. general. We're the number one podcast for that. Yep. We're the number one podcast who gives, who goes down on women. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Grant, um, what's, my what's been going on with you, man? I haven't talked to you guys in Yeah, it's been a week since we recorded. I, um, if I could just say real quick, uh, some, some of my hobbies include going down on women. Yeah. And... <laughs> Uh, I also like to watch. Dude, you're so watch short. TV. You go, you're so short. You go up on women. <laughs> you're, we're the same height. No, no, no. Yeah, that's like that's like three <laughs> hits for Grant. <laughs> no, don't give him that hit. That's an I, error. Dude, I'm saying you, gotta reach, you reach base by error. 
dude, that's like you got to pay respects, you know. No, it's not a hit. Nah, dude, we're doing a roast of each other this this week. I'm I'm totally using Grant's that. already given his. Oh own. yeah, he's yeah exactly. Wait, well, this, will I, out, this will come out after that show. So. Oh okay. Where's the roast at? It's I don't know. I'm not gonna go. It's at. Uh, <laughs> You're not gonna show up to your own roast. Ever. He's not gonna show up. Yeah. yeah, it's because he's scared. Yeah, it's it's possible that Ryan and I's friendship ends that night so uh maybe this yeah. might be the last episode of the podcast as we know it we'll see i really hope i really hope it does too because you guys have become best friends you know and i'm a little bit out of the loop it sucks yeah we just so, had this together bro so hey. if you guys break up then i can swoop in <laughs> and uh you know sweep you guys off your feet yeah you're trying to co-best friend both of us i'm trying to yeah exactly like triangle yeah that's what i'm talking about um yeah you guys stoked for the roast or what not really. I don't really want to be mean to Grant. Ryan's scared. I I've been playing mind games with Ryan this past week. Too. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> I'm going through a lot of stuff in my life right now. I don't need yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. It's uh, got to make it fun for me somehow too. You know. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to a roast tonight. I recently wrote a bunch of jokes for this one comic. She's roasting this guy, and uh, she paid me some money to write her some jokes and I feel confident about two of them. So I'm going to go. I was like, I feel good about these. And if they bomb, I will walk out and kill myself. <laughs> I will be like, you know what? Don't ever. Yeah. Cause don't ever ask me to do anything comedy related again. I'm actually, I don't know anything about comedy. So it, it's kind of the same as when you give somebody a line and then it hits really hard. Yeah. And then every time after when you see them do that, you just kind of look around to everybody you're with and you're just like, I wrote that joke. You know? Yeah. yeah. When well, I love <laughs> doing have that. to announce it to but everybody I, you're near. I go to these heckle mics and, you know, like I host these heckle mics that are like roast mics. And like I'm really good in those because it's like riffing and I'm like fast. But then, like, people will be like, do you want to do, like, the roast battle? And as soon as, like, I have to, like, write something about a person, then I'm, like, I'm, like, a lot worse at it. Yeah. Well, this is what I was going to say is there's kind of no better feeling than it almost feels better to write a good line for somebody else than when one of your own jokes hits when you tell it on stage. But when you give somebody a line and they use it and it bombs... I feel that, more bad. That's like that's worse than you bombing on stage too. No, that makes yeah, that is worse. Good. That makes me feel good because <laughs> then I know that I I have a chance to go up and and make fun of them. For, for you. I would always line I, that didn't work. Well, Ryan would always you know, like, get to crush. And then everyone knows I'm the best. <laughs> well, that would happen with like me and Ryan because like Ryan, you would come up to me before like a set and say like something really really stupid. Yeah. You know, like just some real, and I think just like the thing about me is I think bad comedy is good, you yeah. know, just genuinely. And uh, I'd be like, that's really good. You got to open with that. And you'd be like, I don't know, man. And I'd be like, dude, it's so funny. And then you would open <laughs> with it. I would be <laughs> do, um, do yeah. bad. And I'd be like, you know what? I'm really sorry I gave you the comments. I, I really did like it though. It's, it's also very difficult in that moment, right before somebody's <laughs> going up on stage and you're chilling with them in the back and they come up to you and they're like, like trying to riff and they're like, is that funny? It's really hard to just be like, no. <laughs> like, yeah. It, it's, it, you want, well, I would, I, like I have no, yeah, I have no problem with going like, eh, I don't think so. Or at least like, you know, maybe halfway through your set or yeah. something if you get but like a lot of times i would be like dude do that the first <laughs> make that the first thing you say <laughs> and and then you get pissed and then i'm like ah oh, fuck i feel like responsible yeah. i'm just having a tantrum on stage I'm yeah from- then you start having a tantrum and i'm <laughs> and then instead of whispering to comics like i wrote that i'm like this is my fault actually <laughs> I fucked up. Dude, he's so pissed at me. He's Dude, gonna Ryan's he's gonna, gonna yell at me when he gets up. Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble for giving my friend confidence to Dude. say a <laughs> say a bad joke. Imagine a set going so bad that you throw the stool into the crowd. <laughs> that has to have happened oh, many, 100%. many times. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it 18 times. <laughs> that's how you got banned from the comedy bunker right (laughs) well yeah dude the legendary (laughs) the legendary banning of ryan i'm so glad i was there that night shout out to oh yeah dude one of the worst comedians (laughs) i've ever seen in my life (laughs) one of the truly one of the least skilled people at this stupid fucking thing we do (laughs) bob damaris 
who lives in Stillwater, Minnesota. No. <laughs> I don't know where he um, is. So I have a I have a few things to get to. I have a few things to I have a few um apologies that I you know things I need to apologize for, and then a few apologies I would like to demand okay. from other people. Tommy's got business. Speaking of business, <laughs> what? What you just farted, <laughs> dude? You farted and burped way more on the podcast <laughs> than anyone, and yeah. it's your rule. <laughs> hey man, I don't make the rules, but I did, and now I'm. It's so funny that like literally <laughs> second week of doing the podcast, you're like, "Hey guys, no farting or burping on the podcast," <laughs> and I'm like, "Gross when you guys do it. <laughs> it's disgusting for the listener when it's you guys." <laughs> it's hilarious it's so funny i i was hearing about this concept uh we can go into your thing after this tommy but i was hearing about this concept of like people there's a phenomenon where some people don't think that anybody else in the world is conscious because they can't picture themselves in in uh yeah i keep saying i keep seeing tiktoks where like yeah yeah i saw this on discover like the that like phenomenon yeah and i feel like ryan is is in that like it's basically like you're the only player in a video game yeah what a what a bold thing for someone who doesn't actually exist to say to me (laughs) that's true (laughs) um but um i tweeted if i tweeted a couple days ago um so like a lot of times like so i got a new phone as you guys know Mm. within with you know within the past you keep pictures of the phone and sending it to us yeah (laughs) Okay. You're like a new phone, new phone. I got a new phone. Um, yes. Every time we text I, him, he just says new phone. Who did? New phone. Who am I? <laughs> who am guy, I? Do I have guy who has Alzheimer's? New <laughs> phone. Who am I again? <laughs> I don't. You want um, to tweet that? You want to take a break and tweet that? <laughs> yeah. Everybody pause this really quick. So I can, yeah. <laughs> everybody pause this and tweet new guy, guy who has Alzheimer's new phone. Who am I? That's yeah, well, yeah. We'll edit it so that there's uh there's no uh open air or dead air in between here, but pause it anyways and just take the break that it would take the yep. time to tweet. Well, this is the new game that we should play instead of hey, let's let's take a take a break out of this podcast, which what is what we really need to yeah. take a break from this podcast, you know, and to tweet something. We let the listeners do it themselves. So you we, ever, we give them the draft. We give we give them the draft. You send it out. I'm you ever see what happens? You guys ever try to hook up with someone who has depression, and then it's like you know two a.m. and it's yes, a, my girlfriend. Every <laughs> instead of in, every, every day, <laughs> instead of texting, instead of texting you up, you go you down, <laughs> you down. <laughs> um. Anyways, I think yeah. we'd get rid of the police and replace them with people with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. That's a classic. Um, so this guy, so, you know, I have a new phone number, right? And it's a New York phone number. And ever since I've gotten this new phone number, I get a lot of random texts from random phone numbers, right? And uh, I'd like to mess around a little bit, you know, bring a little, bring a little light into mm-hmm. my world, you know, bring a little comedy into, yeah. in, into my everyday life, you know? So sometimes I'll just mess around with random phone numbers. But then I'm like quickly like I'm j- hey I'm just joking around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope you figure out whatever you need to do, you know, because I'm a silly little guy, you know. Yeah, you're not. So doing I tweeted harmful. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do anything really harmful. But this guy um texts me and he goes, uh, "Hi, good afternoon. This is Wester. I'm running 20 minutes late because of traffic. I'll be there soon. My apologies." Um, and then I just go, uh, "You're fired," because you know? <laughs> it's like, "Oh, this guy's." And then I go. Just kidding. I think you got the wrong number, but I hope you get there soon. Crying emoji, little fist up. Solidarity. Mm-hmm. You know. Anything? <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, this guy. <laughs> then this is why I didn't. This so you is why I didn't. The screenshot. I okay. posted that screenshot, and then I also was slammed at work. So I've also been like, everyone at work keeps like quitting, and so, <laughs> and getting sick with COVID. So I'm just like the only guy there, and I'm yeah. like losing my mind. I'm having to, like I have to like step out, step off the floor, and like go outside just to like tweet like yeah just tweet. post <laughs> just to just to fuck with people who think they have the right number yeah yeah well i was also like mad at myself because like i post this and then i'm like fuck why am i posting when i'm like slammed i shouldn't be like online like <laughs> you know at my job whatever yeah like this much um why yeah but, well, but when I'm the slammed? reason the reason you're getting angry with yourself is because you're also your boss right now 
Otherwise, you yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't have yeah. a, I don't have anyone to cover me. You have to discipline yourself. Yeah, you're like yeah, because fuck. I'm the only. <laughs> you're I'm like, the only one running this place. I'm gonna have it's to so write funny. myself up for this. <laughs> you're telling yourself Dude, you'll. And the and the owners won't listen to me. I keep telling them to put a sign, a please wait. To, we don't have a please wait to be seated sign at this restaurant. This oh, is a very sucks. standard. So it's just people. It's naked women in bathing suits coming in at all ends. There's three entrances to this restaurant. And they're like walking like, in. Good woman. This sounds awesome. Hey, nice, dude. <laughs> they're walking. They're walking in, and they're like, they're like nervous because they're like in their most physical, vulnerable, like form. They're half naked, and they're like going into an eating area, and they like don't know the protocol. And then it's just like me, and I'm like sweating, and like I'm having a panic attack. You're naked. And I'm like, you I'm naked too. Correction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hard as a rock. And I'm like, yeah, just hang out there, hang out. Anyways, it's like the restaurant's a mess right now, and that sucks. Anyways, so I tweet out this interaction, and then Wait, the guy. So, so there, it's not seat yourself. It's so, not supposed to be seat yourself, but there, dude. but the owners will not make a sign. So all the all the people need to do is just wait to be seated and I will seat them. But yeah. they're just coming in and sitting down at tables that aren't bust yet. I'm busting tables. I'm bringing in the food. I'm making cocktails. It's what the fuck, man. It's ab- it's absolutely a nightmare. Oh, can we just take a second to imagine a woman naked? Dude, that's the thing. In this place, the bathhouse, dude. I can't wait to bring you guys there. There's just dimes everywhere. This like so many Instagram models are like going there now. So they're like, I mean, we're talking about women who are just like stacked and they're like coming up to me and they're like, Yeah, can we see? And I'm like, I'm like not even making eye contact with them because I'm like so just nervous around women and i'm just like yes just give me a moment <laughs> like yeah. i'm like sweating like so how'd this how'd this text exchange so then so then the guy so then i like check my phone and then i was gonna tweet this out but like he just texts back my address you know what? and i'm oh, like where you live yeah where i live with a question mark and i'm like oh shoot like dana got a maintenance guy Oh. And they're like, oh my! And so God. I'm like, so I'm like, oh, are you? and I'm like, and oh, I didn't know. The- you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> text the maintenance. So I need to apologize, to this guy. So I go, oh, are you the maintenance guy? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think. Yeah, my girlfriend's home. Yeah, sorry. And then he goes, thanks. I'm going to paint the bathroom wall. And I go, thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry about the little joke before. I didn't know a, a painter was coming in today. And then he just texts me back like a crying emoji. So I'm like, all right, I think. Oh, at least he's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, fuck, dude, you, you pissed off the maintenance guy. So that's, that's one thing I need to apologize for. That would be yeah. awesome if you got home and he had like painted your door shut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> painted, the to- painted the toilet closed. Yeah. Just everything he, is covered. He in. paints a Nazi symbol in my bathroom and I'm like, ah, shit. Yep. He got, got me. 10,000 followers, tweets it out with your address. Yeah doxed yeah i'm like fuck dude that's what you get for being a little fucking scamp dude dude yeah that's what i get man that's not you know, some but you know you gotta do that you gotta mess around a little bit even though you might be a little bit of a risk that sucks though because it's kind of it's the thing of fucking with somebody you think you're never gonna have to see again and then all of a sudden you're sitting next to them on the plane or something you know it's just like, yeah fuck <laughs> yeah Next thing you know, uh, you're getting breast milk on yourself on the plane. That's yeah. a reference to an old Grant story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just slurping. Um, which I think about that like once every two weeks. I'm like, yeah, that that sucked, honestly. Yeah. So that's a uh, a little thing I need to uh, to apologize for. I mean, I've had a lot. I've had a crazy couple of weeks. So yeah. You know, I don't know if you guys want to get get into anything. I don't know if I uh, I really have anything. Um, I've been I've been living living the good life, man. Uh, yeah, it's it's been kind of boring. Did the weekend at Sisyphus last weekend with uh, Racine and Evan Williams. That was super fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, been been fucking taking it easy, dude. I'm trying to trying to stay off the booze for a little while. So nice, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I am too. I go like I go like four days off it, and then I hit the sauce hard one day, and I'm like, "Oops, yeah, <laughs> whoopsie, Oopsie, hate my life." Yeah, it's been it's been a week for me. It's like it's weird. Like after the the month of the holidays, 
and then being being on the beach for a week i feel like i was honestly in like a brain fog for like four days when i stopped drinking <laughs> i just said like no fucking idea what was going on but uh, yeah now i'm now i'm like hydrated again for the first time this year so nice dude. Good. i feel i feel like I, my brain is is heavy in a good way you know it's yeah. just full of water yeah you got it I've had a weird couple of weeks. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I've had a really. We don't need to. We don't need to get in because a lot of it's very personal, and I got catfished and <laughs> pictures of my <laughs> pictures of my penis out there somewhere. My face isn't in the picture, but you know. Um. So that was tough. But you've said, you know. Yeah. I mean, I th- I think I have like multiple. Pi- I have pictures yeah, of prob- both your guys' balls not, and yeah. dick in my phone. Not hard penis though, you know, where I'm like trying to impress you with my penis. I have Polaroids of Grant's balls and dick <laughs> in a special folder of documents that I find important to me. Yeah. <laughs> and like your little Yeah, like time. where I keep my taxes. Yeah. And yeah. like, you know, IDs and birthday passport cards from and Dana. Th- <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like birthday cards, special <laughs> memories. And then it's just like a folder of Grant's balls and dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, this is. This is yeah. good. I like this. I got a lot. Big, like angry red balls too. So it's it's disgusting. Good, yeah. Um I yeah, this uh so this weekend I was on the road. Friday I was in Grand Forks, North Dakota, doing Spud Juniors. <laughs> um is that, is, a, is that a burger? I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there February fifth. So if uh if if anybody's listening from that show, come see me. Come see your boy Grant. It's a good room. Uh the motel they put us in is the worst motel I've ever seen. Uh, there's like a hole in the wall, um, in, in my room and then, then like spackle or whatever the fuck, like a bucket underneath the hole in the wall as if they were like, you don't like it, fix it, you know? Mm-hmm. So I didn't. And then <laughs> we were out until like three 30 in the morning, just fucking obliterated. You I and who? Gabe Noah. Um, and nice. Yeah, it was hit, hitting the sauce with Gabe Noah. Just going fucking insane, dude. That's a good guy. That's a good guy to to get yeah. drunk. With. Like, okay, I toss was like, a few back with. Was he he's by- just insane and just saying the most insane shit you've ever heard? And like, I'm like, nice. I was like, fuck. Gabe it. likes to pay for drinks too, which is nice. I was hammered, right? Because I had like 15 beers or some shit, and like we're <laughs> we're like playing pool, and like these college kids come up to us because it's like a college town, and they're they're like, you know, kind of talking to me, and I'm like. I'm like to them, I'm like, hey, tell this guy to Gabe. I was like, tell tell this guy that he has Down syndrome. And they're like, what? No. And then I like, I was like to Gabe, I was like, yo, dude, these guys just said you have Down syndrome. And like, he played it up, you know, and he's like, what the fuck? And then like, they like got in my face and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? We didn't say that. He told us to say that. And like, I was just being a fucking rascal, dude. <laughs> dude, I was, at a, I was at a bar playing pool with my coworker and these two yeah. women who were like, at the bathhouse earlier and we had like our hoodies on so they like recognized us and they like they're both like tattoo artists so they have like tattoos everywhere and they just started like we don't know how this happened because we were both like pretty drunk and they were drunk but they started like while we were playing pool they started like stripping and showing us like their tattoos like like full-on like stripping and i'm just like that's a nice like like titties out and i'm like that is a cool tattoo like and i'm like oh god like texting dana like i love you so much dude <laughs> like just, just i will not risk it all right now but just like insane like at the bar just like getting naked and me and my coworker, are like we both have girlfriends and we're just like nice c- cool yeah i don't know it was just it was wild yeah <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't even like processed. That <laughs> yeah. That fully. I never. That was a weird story for you to tell. Uh, <laughs> I want you to know that. That's a weird I don't know. It's just something that there. happened. Yeah, it sounds so horrible, dude. I can't. I'm so sorry okay? that. No, was... Are you okay, Tommy? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> no, I'm not okay. It's, uh... <laughs> but. Isn't that sick though? Isn't that like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, sick, that's, disgusting, yeah, that's dude. Disgusting. Yeah, that's this yeah. Is like really you know? gross, right? Yeah. Sorry that happened to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I was like, ew, gross. Yeah. 
I feel like something else. Boom. Yeah, anyways, in East Grand oh, Forks. <laughs> dude, uh, and then uh, earlier in the week, a guy with Down syndrome told me to shut the fuck up. Uh, at, was he at the show? No, I was, like, doing a delivery to a group home, and I'm, like, talking to the caretaker, and, like, this guy is, like, watching TV. His back's turned to me. And, like, at one point, he just, like, leaned back in his chair, and he was like, you know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I, I started laughing, and I was like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know I was being so loud. And then he, he's, like, making eye contact with me, and then he just gestured at the TV, like, <clears throat> oh. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's man. like you were talking over gun smoke or something. I don't know what mm-hmm. he was watching. but Matlock. Veggie tales. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, then what else? Something else happened this week, too. Oh, I lied to an old Chinese woman uh, yeah. at work, which was tough because there was like a language barrier. It but was I, tough to lie to her. Well, I just had to keep lying. Just try to lie while speaking fluent Chinese. I had, to, I had to lie slower and louder until it like sunk <laughs> in. You know, like everything is fine. And then she was like, then I felt good because she, you know. You're so good at lying that you can do it in multiple languages. Yeah, dude, it is hard to lie in. Universal. Yes, it's the universal language. Lying. The universal language. Yes. Much, much like laughter. I had um, which I, which I was doing while I was lying to. Her. I was <laughs> laughing, <laughs> <laughs> laughing in the yeah. face. I had a, I had a weird show in Harlem last week. Okay. Wow. Um, oh, was it weird? <clears throat> well, because <clears throat> this is the thing about like doing comedy, like post COVID, is someone will be like yeah uh you want to do my show it's at a brewery and you're like that seems that seems all right you know you know i barely get booked on shows in new york and you know a brewery that's a familiar comedy place right and Mm -hmm. so i'm like yeah let's uh you know let's pop over to harlem let's do a brewery show and uh, um it's in the outdoor shack outside of the brewery so just like fully on the street oh like the sidewalk thing where, where yeah, like the sidewalk that? thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, so like my first reaction is like, fuck. Like, okay, fine. It's like cold as shit now in New York, you know? Yeah. So, so it's like, there's like heaters on, but you're like, but like, okay, I came all the way here. Like, let's just like do this really quick. And there's like, you know, it's a, it's it's an outdoor shack. It's as big as you think it is. There's six audience members. There's six comics on the show you're like all right this will be like an open mic and this um like the host is on the host is like this black dude and then this other black dude comes in to the shack and he's wasted and he's just like has he's like drunk as hell and he has this is going this sounds like a racist story by the way like i do understand how it sounds but he's just like full-on like palming a chicken breast (laughs) like eating it he comes in and he sits there's no like like it's an iphone just like not (laughs) not how you hold chicken (laughs) no it's like a hot like he just got chicken he took it out of the his packaging and he's just like eating it yes like it is like an apple (laughs) (laughs) and he comes in and then the black dude who's the host is like you know like what what's up what's up my man like another black guy here and then so then the guy goes i'm not black poppy i'm spanish and it's like he was black like it's like you are not your first reaction is like you are not from spain like you are not but he's like one of those because if you don't okay in like new york there's like dominican people who are black who are like don't call me black poppy i'm dominican and it's like okay like fine you know yeah so then he sits so he sits right there's no stage there's just the end of the shack and he pulls up a chair and he's foot away from the the host the comic and the guy's like whoa you're sitting like really close and he's like i'll fucking kill you and we're just like oh my god this is and he's like nah i'm just kidding he's like no i'm just kidding he was kind of like like the i think you should leave sketch where he's like give me your burger and then he's like i'm just kidding around you know he kept saying like like I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. I have like a gun. And he's like, No, I'm just kidding. I love comedy. And he's like blackout drunk. <clears throat> just like ch- chicken in one hand, like hitting like a little bottle of booze. Yeah, not buying drinks, of course. Just no, yeah, not buying drinks. Yeah. Just like 
wasted. And it's like, the show's over. The next comic who goes up, he's threatening violence again. But then, like, the comic had, like, he was really, this guy was really all over the place. Because, like, he then, he's, like, also, like, this, the another comic made, like, a joke about, it wasn't, like, sexist, but it was, like, a joke about women. Maybe, like, he used the word, like, bitch or hoe. And then the guy was, like, no, nah, no, nah, we respect bitches. Like, we uh, we respect, like, he was the bitch respecter. Yes, yes. And so me and this other comic are like, whoa, this guy's a feminist now? Like, this guy's, <laughs> this guy's crazy, you know? Yeah. Anyways, he eventually leaves. And then when I go up, then this old guy comes in with the biggest bike. Like, this is a big shack. And he comes in with a, like, during my set, like, a bike that has, like, three baskets on each end of it. And this is like a 70 year old man. And he's like bust into the shack with his bike and he's like knocking down chairs. And I'm like, what is going on? Also this, it was just the most bizarre. Were you on stage? I've ever had. Yeah. I don't know. There was like a dog in there at one point, just like barking at every comic. Well, that's not that, <clears throat> that, that feels, that feels the like the most home. normal thing. Yeah. It just felt like just like wacky characters kept popping in Mm -hmm. i love this yeah this is awesome i mean i'm glad it didn't happen to me but because it happened to you and not me i love this yeah it was uh how was your set it was good because i like i made fun of the show yeah (laughs) yeah which is the only thing you can do that's fair if the show is actually bad you know you gotta you gotta comment on it how much time did you do i think i did like eight minutes i was having like a pretty good time because i was like Cause there's this other guy who was like running the show who was like also heckling the comics and he was filming the comics on a security camera the fuck? for like content. And I'm just like, yeah, I love uh, going to like an entrance at target and like, you know, talking loudly for an hour, then going up to the security being like, Hey, can I get that footage? I'm trying to post this on YouTube for a YouTube special <laughs> because that's what they were like doing. And like, that was the goal in mind. They were going to, film everyone on like this grainy security camera oh my god it was just everything going in was just like i've never seen comedy fucking sucks dude why would you just use an iphone not everything is content that's a great point god damn you you have an iphone because it's cooler man it's like is it at one point the dominican guy he like is it (laughs) is it he he got on the mic he facetimed his wife and he was like And he was just FaceTiming his wife. He, like, grabbed the mic from a comic, FaceTime his wife, and he was like, my wife is beautiful. And we're just like, she's beautiful, man. We love her. <laughs> we're just like, we love you, man. You, <laughs> Great job. Yeah, that rules, dude. The other yeah. night, <clears throat> that reminds me, Ed, I was at Corner Bar uh, last Friday night with – um both former guests of the show, Ahmed Kalaf and uh, the bitch respecter himself. And we were just getting fucking lit. And this, uh, I believe she was Ethiopian. Uh, we'll say unhoused uh, woman came in and it's like one in the morning and mm-hmm. she was just hammered. And it was only, it was like uh, us three in the bar. And then the two bartenders, it was dead. It was probably like yeah. one in the morning. And that night was dead anyways. And this lady just starts yelling at me and Ahmed. She just starts yelling at him for being Somali. She's an Ethiopian woman. And she starts calling me. Nice. A little East African <laughs> racism. Yeah, just just calling me. East on East African. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Ahmed, you know, um, it was it was interesting, dude. And meanwhile, I was like, I was just I was fucking lit. So this is CC Club. Uh, no, corner bar. Oh, uh, corner, sorry, corner bar. Yeah. And um, I uh, I I quickly proceeded to get an Uber and leave because I could not handle the pressure of this situation. But apparently, uh, Clay and Ahmed like shut the bar down because this lady wouldn't leave, and they were just like in a full on yelling match. Clay, the the bartenders, and Ahmed were just yelling at this woman and just wouldn't leave and just kept calling me gay and calling Ahmed Somali. Just like Dude, awesome. <laughs> ended up You're having to call gay. the cops on You're her. Somali, <laughs> fuck you guys. Like both those are fucking just world destroying owns. It's like, yeah, what yeah. Well through. <laughs> What's up, lady? Who cares? 
Dude, yeah, just like a lot of like weird, crazy shit has been happening to me where I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know, and I'm just like tired from work and like. Dude, I feel like I'm so. Yeah, man. Exhausted. You guys ever you guys ever think we're just in the in the damn simulation? No, that's fucking stupid. And even if it is a simulation, I, nope. that wouldn't change anything about my life. <laughs> it wouldn't. I would still yeah. fucking work. A yeah, dump. we're in a simulation, a damn porn simulation, dude. Seems yeah. like there's a damn glitch in the Matrix. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. <clears throat> what? Yeah. Okay, so I know we have a special guest coming on the <laughs> episode today, but before we do that, can we do an anonymous apology? Yeah, we should. Should we? Um, How long have we been going? We're at like 30, 36 minutes, probably. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there was a. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out should we talk about what got the the new improvement in the rcu oh with uh, we have a subreddit <laughs> well you have a subreddit well we do it's us <laughs> yeah we're we're a part of the ryan cinematic universe tommy oh yeah well i guess if we're we're if we're in the universe anyway someone made a <laughs> what's it r backslash rcu or uh, subreddit? R- yeah. yeah so if you want to join you know <laughs> feel free by all means i think it's pretty funny get on there yeah, let's let's just uh, you know get over yeah, there. Yeah, my my buddy uh, Charlie, who he lives in New York. He's in he's shout in out. Like, he's in like jazz school. He's uh he uh I'm I'm hanging out with him a few nights ago. He's like, dude, I made a I made a I made a Ryan subreddit, and I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I'm like, know. I was like, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's out there. So go join it and uh, post. You know, post to your heart's desire over there. I tried to find it. I, like, texted you guys. I was like, yeah, there's, like, a Ryan subreddit out there. And then you're like, where is it? And I'm like, I I just, like, I think I just, like, went on Reddit and typed in Ryan call. And I was like, nothing popped up. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, I, uh. It's r slash the RCU. Yeah, that's it. If you're looking to find it. Okay. Um. And so. Your friend's so awesome, Tommy. That's funny. Yeah. All right, so this is um, so this is what we got written in, and uh, I made Dude, a. If this uh, is about how I suck. I'm gonna fucking, I can't handle it. Okay, this is what it says. If you want to submit or demand your own anonymous apology, uh, write it right into grantwinkelscomedy.com slash we cool podcast. We really should make our own website for this, honestly, at this point, but um. Yeah. So you can uh, write into us there, and uh, actually, Ryan, do you just want to read this one? Sure. <clears throat> uh, fuck the RCU and Gary Potter. Bayer Winkle for life. All RCU followers will be terminated and destroyed. Well, come to my fucking house, you cocksucker. Come to my house. Wait, ha- who is this? I don't know. Whoever this is, I will fucking kill you. Is this guy? This is who is this? This is person like Grant? It's anonymous you, man. Yeah, like Bayer Bayer Winkles Nation for life. Yeah. Hey man, we're not. Also, fuck you. That was a good character, you idiot. If you're gonna make fun of a character, make fun of the fucking tiny guy. That was a bad one. Tiny Gary guy Potter was... was a fun character. Gary fuck. Potter is a fan favorite. <laughs> it, it is. People are re- well, not you know. Fucking idiot. Not, I hope uh... this guy. You know what? Don't listen to the fucking podcast then fucking idiot loser motherfucker hey here's the this thing is how i handle any criticism but this way. is like barely even criticism you oh, just said no. fuck you. you said fuck me and fuck the rcu <laughs> no yeah fuck i don't guy. he said this it. guy hey how about how about you make your own fucking podcast you fucking loser no Great. we don't we don't we need any more podcast out there this is bear bear winkles nation for life we got our own nation now tommy i don't think we need to divide to divide the podcast you know i will not i will not let i told these you listeners divide us you should come into the rcu and just be part of that well we're already part also, of the, the rcu fucking, the fucking but no tommy i think we explicitly did tell the listeners to divide the podcast i think we all right well now yeah, I think I'm, gonna, I'm uh, we said we, we evolved we uh, said to do this yeah. i take it back to my to my don't divide the podcast to my fellow people in the rcu i encourage you to find out who put this out there and kill them yeah 
But also, Winkle, what is it? Winkles and Bayer Nation? It sounds, it's like a, this guy's basing his thing off the Aryan Nation or the Aryan Brotherhood. So What's fuck wrong me. with that? <laughs> fuck this guy. This guy sounds like a real loser. Wait, hold on. You have a problem with the Aryan Brotherhood? <laughs> uh, wow. Wow, dude. Okay. Thought this was 2022. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan just wants that market to himself. He's got that market cornered. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, the, the got, idiot market. We got we got turmoil. Yeah, the idiot yeah. asshole. I'll say this, market, dude. I'll say this. Yeah, I did assume that person's gender because only a man could be so stupid. <laughs> only a man would. No, so, dude. Now you're taking agency away from women, and that is not cool. I, I know plenty of women who hate this. Yeah, I know women. <laughs> women can just be and just as you. bad as a man. You <laughs> fucking. Well, oh, they don't hate me. Why would they? Hate me? Dude, st- most women hate you. Out of percentage, <laughs> you think percentage so? wise. Oh, most women don't know. It's statistically significant the amount of women who hate. Yeah, in the world, dude. It's like. Get off your phone, bro. No, what are you doing? Fucking pissed off. You can't fucking text. I'm trying to find phone. out who this. <laughs> he's, like, he's on his phone googling who wrote in. <laughs> yeah. Who wrote in this mean? Email? All right. It's so whatever. We've heard Ryan's side. I'm gonna say hell yeah, man. It's I. We need more. No, we because- need more. Uh, courageous listeners out there stand. I'm gonna say, cut it out. I love my friend Ryan, do yeah. not, oh, dude. I will do straight not up piss him off. Guess. Tommy, I don't, I don't like the fucking tone of this. Dude. Tommy, the tone you, of this is fucking lame. It's 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 it is. Dude, this it is, dude's it's, a it's it's mean and fucking stupid. And what, I, I legitimately, what about this shit of people, I legitimately, people, just, I, I don't like this fucking person swearing loyalty. Dude, this dude's just trying to get a rise out of Ryan. That's funny. Uh, which, which it seems like it might have yeah, worked. Would, and, listen, I'll fuck if I find out who this is, I'll beat the shit out of you. I'll fucking listen, listen, whoever Ryan is, Ryan isn't at all points, he's in a delicate mood, okay. Yeah. And you I'll need beat to the fucking shit out of you, dude. Yes. Straight up, I would annihilate you with my fucking hands. Mm-hmm. If you tamper with the equilibrium of Ryan's mood, it's it throws the whole podcast out of orbit. Okay. And yeah, this- knew this was coming. Yeah, I did. But I, you said you said that it was like, oh, it's nothing against you. Well, it's not really. It's no. It's- let's reread this. Let's reread this. Here's why I'm mad. I like that he's supporting you guys. I think that you guys deserve your own fucking whatever Wait, RCU or whatever. Is it that one? Yeah, but fuck the RCU and Gary Potter, which, first of all, you're taking a shot. Again, you're taking a shot at a character that people liked. Like It's it's one thing you know, com- coming after the man, but coming after the man's art? Yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking kill this guy, dude. Dude, I'll kill and him. If, you're a with woman, you, man. If, if this was a woman, I'll still hit you. Dude, Tommy, if this is a woman, oh. I'll, res- I'll respect the hell out of you. Tommy, you're showing your, your true colors right here, man, because you have a loyal a loyal follower who has just courageously stood up. Dude, to, no. to to swear fealty and allegiance to you. You're on the wrong and side. And you're immediately you're immediately throwing them under the bus. That's right. That's correct. Right. <laughs> you're on the wrong side of history here, Grant. You know who you remind me of? I, I'm not on the wrong side you know of who, history. You know who you, you remind me of? You remind me of the Nazis. Yeah, you remind me of all the white people in the 50s that were like, I don't think black kids should go to my white kids' school. That's what you're doing right now. You're doing the same exact thing. No, because right now we're the underdogs. You remind me of a little angry guy named Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Who had a lot of problems mentally. Yeah, you kind of remind me of a of a guy. <laughs> old, old, old friend of mine. Little old friend of mine named Adolf Hitler. That's who you're acting like. Yeah, dude, man, y'all, this. y'all are brazy. This is. And I'm, I don't accept dude. this fucking apology. I don't think there is an apology well, in there. I actually, don't accept it. Um, fucking loser. Yeah, dude, man. Wasn't it's it's insane that those wasn't insane that those chicks were getting naked at the bar. That is insane. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Are you like, okay? Whoa, huh? Like, are, are you okay? I like don't think I'm okay. You don't seem okay. No, that was that was kind of a big deal. Right in, right in, and tell Tommy what he should do. I want Here's everyone to imagine you're at the bar playing pool. All of a sudden, these damn chicks start getting naked. It's like, and then you go, you go. One of them was named Roxanne, and I was going like, Roxanne, I love you, you crazy bitch. <laughs> but you gotta get off the pool table. <laughs> you quit put, dancing you on gotta, the pool gotta, table. Gotta quit dancing on the. You gotta, gotta put your pussy. The pool, away the pool cue doesn't go there, Roxanne. 
Roxanne, yeah. um, you don't got to get on the pool table. That's not what I meant when I said corner pocket. Her name was Roxanne, and I was like, Roxanne, I fucking love you. Um, <laughs> You're going to have to get away also, from me. I'm just going to say this with this fucking dog shit apology again. It's not an apology. I'm considering it an apology. I don't accept it. <laughs> You're considering an apology, so you don't have yeah. to accept it. I want to encourage people to uh, write in and say nice things about Grant and Tommy and also create their own TCUs and uh, GCUs. But It's been done, man. But it's been. I'm but a- don't don't fucking be. There's like animosity. I don't like that. That's fucking stupid. And you're lame if you have hate in your heart. Which you put you have about, you have about, more hate in your heart than I think auntie, anybody. What about yeah. auntie Mosity and auntie named Mosity? <laughs> no, that's funny. That's funny and creative, and smart. <laughs> <laughs> and Tommy, I love you. Yeah. Why don't you come over to your auntie Mosity's house and I'll get away? I'll slapping you. Yeah. I'll cook you up something nice. Yeah. And then I'll fuck her. Well. And then, what? And then. I'll, <laughs> What is that? I don't know. Anti hey. Antimosity. Um Antimosity. Yeah. Fuck I I no, nah, don't listen to Ryan. Uh this fuck is, you. I'll quit the podcast straight up. I don't like it. Yeah, you, I think this I think I, I don't think I, I'll say this, Ryan. I don't think this person means what they said. Yeah, I know, but I still didn't like it. They're just I trying still, to get a rise at you're, I you're will. letting them. You're letting them win right now. I know, and I will beat the shit out of them if I ever see them. In prison. This is why we keep it anonymous, you know. It's, it's fucking it's to say, protect. Right in it. Whoever did this, write your fucking full name and address. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Ryan's gonna send you a pipe bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking, I'll, I'll kill your whole family. He's gonna do fucking uh, yeah. terrorism on your ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trick your wife into having sex with me. And then I'm going to make your kids go somewhere else. You're listening to the weed cool. <laughs> gonna, and then I'm going to move with your wife yeah. and your family to San I'm Antonio. Gonna, I'm going to ruin your fucking life, man. You fucking you're listening, to, you're listening to the We Cool podcast, the only terrorist podcast. <laughs> Who also goes pod- down on the most women. The only podcast yeah. where That's we actively do terrorism on our free time. We are also the only pro cunnilingus terrorist group. You will find that most terrorists are you, very much we, against. We cor- we cor- cornered the pro terrorist eating pussy market as you can see as you can see our quarter four profits look great after we started eating more <laughs> pussy yeah but it seems like the three less terrorism, terrorism is down yeah. but pussy eating is way up it's through the roof <laughs> boys we're gonna have to do more terrorists going, going, <laughs> folks, going down is going up <laughs> oh, oh all right <laughs> going down is going up look at this look that's at those good. stocks that's good the fucking stocks and shit and that that loops oh, back man. around to, to what you do you go well, up instead of going down yeah yeah uh yeah be, well, what if would it be crazy to get a member of the taliban on the podcast yeah that would be crazy <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy if we did that tommy <laughs> i'm just saying would you guys do it sure mm-hmm. well i don't there might be a language barrier. Yeah. Because Grant doesn't speak, you know. But, you know, we speak the <laughs> Grant, universal language. I don't speak Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, do so, we do have you have a, anything to apologize for? Do we have a guest? Mm. Today? Yeah. I thought we did. Mm-hmm. We do. Um, I think, well, well, okay. Um, what's his name? I know who he is. I can introduce him if you tell me his name. <laughs> Uh, I di- I didn't catch his name actually. Oh, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Should we pause it? And I think he's just getting here right now. Should we pause the podcast? Yeah. No, sure. No, no, no. I got his name written down okay. here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Curvin Jack and Beagle Tits. Uh, this is he is a Hollywood uh, coroner. Uh, he is on the on the podcast. Curvin, how you doing? Baby, baby, I am doing so well. Eagle Tits is my mother's name. It's hyphenated. I, I normally just go by Curvin Jackin. Okay. Curvin Jackin. Um, Thanks for having what, me. What, for having what me. nationality is Beagle, Beagle Tits? Beagle Tits, that's an old Scottish name. Oh. Means the tits of a beagle. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a family. My mother was a bitch. <laughs> Everybody says it. <laughs> okay. Everybody says it. Yeah. Where'd um, Grant go? I'm still here. I'm just, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the ones and twos over here. So, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. You just, just don't mind me. I like kind of flexing my producer muscle yeah, yeah. right now. So, uh, um, could we do a thing where Grant, uh, and Curvin are talking at the same time, real quick? Yeah, 
Can we just try Grant, to do that? Yeah, you, you're people. asking me, you're asking me, you're asking Grant. Both of you guys. Could you would you guys mind both just syncing up and talking at the same time? <laughs> well, uh <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. So Dude, you sound you're like owning like... Curvin Jack and Grant. <laughs> I'm making Curvin look so. Dude, sweet. you're totally making Curvin Jack and Grant sweat right now, bro. I believe my. You're like, po- you're like you're telling them to talk at the same time and shit. Both of you shut the fuck up. I believe my publicist said there would be no funny business, and I will. Wa- I will quit the podcast. Uh, okay, well, I will kinda... quit the podcast if if this goes on like this. Wait, so my... you're a you're a coroner. Yeah, I am I in am. Hollywood. I'm a coroner to the stars, coroner to the stars. And let me tell you, the business is a booming. Lots of shooting stars recently. If you know what I mean, who are some Can of you the... explain to me what a coroner is? Yes. Solves now, crimes. <laughs> that, that is incorrect. Why don't murders. Tommy, Tommy, how about this? How about you explain to me what you think a coroner is? And I'll I'll guide your hand. Well, at first when uh, Ryan texted the podcast group and he was like, hey, we're having a coroner mm. guest on. I was like, all right, well, someone spelled Corona incorrectly. And that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought. That's quite funny. Um, so from my understanding, it's someone who explains the death already wrong of someone someone who explains the death like how who what you some something about death <laughs> you come in and you go tommy i'm gonna cut hey, you right. the, i'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off right death. there you're absolutely incomprehensible and you do sound stupid uh ryan you want to take a crack at what yeah the coroner is like if um i don't know if it's an if it's like just when there's like uh they think something actually happened, you know, like a homicide or like foul play. When something actually happened. But the coroner like inspects the body and is like, okay, here's the cause of death. And then in other words, it explains the death. Yeah, well, I mean, but they also do they embalm it too, maybe? I don't I don't think so. I think that's a funeral director. But they they fuck with the body and shit. Can you tell us what a coroner is for yeah. celebrities? Yeah, I mean, you were half right. It's uh I just, I'm the guy who cuts her, cuts them open. I slice and dice, take what I want, leave what I can. What and uh, take what you want. Well, you know, I mean, nobody's, nobody's keeping track of these bodies other than old curving. So, uh, what have you, you know, taken? Yeah. Trinkets, you yeah, know, also, trinkets. Why are your pockets so full right now? Because why do you think? Yeah, why, why, why is it wet? I'm just happy to see you. Your pockets are just yeah. wet. Your pockets my, are wet and full. There's nothing in my pockets. I'm just happy to see you, old Kerman. Happy to see you. And uh, yeah, you know if uh, if a gold filling from a from a you know Rodney Dangerfield's tooth ends up uh, winding up in my pocket, who am I to say that I'm not going to take that and pawn it instantly? I've been on pawn stores, <laughs> pawn stars, thirteen separate times. None of them made it to air. They had to edit. They had to cut me out of every single episode I was in. Because yeah. of the stuff. You're I actually selling. hold the Guinness Book of World Records for being cut out of Pawn Stars most times yeah. out of anybody. Okay. And so that's about the fourth so you're not in, thing about me. So you're in the Guinness Book of World Records. I but am. You're not, you're not what's in. The, what's the fifth most interesting thing about you? I've been edited out of the Guinness Book of World Records over nine times. Oh. That's, but you made it in one edition. I made it in one, the last print edition that they ran. And it was, uh, I mean, the reason was that those sell mainly, at, if you're familiar with the Guinness Book of World Records, they sell them mainly at scholastic school book fairs. And most of the stuff I was in there for was uh, you're pretty unsavory. It's so. weird that you're in the last edition because that's the one that has the most edits. So like, it would make more sense if you were in the first edition and then they realized, oh, we should cut this out. But Well, here's some... what you want to do. You want to think about the editions of the Guinness Book of World Records, like a giant game of Plinko, and I'm the Plinko oh, chip, and okay. I'm kind of yeah. falling and bouncing back and forth. It's Here's the thing. Now, now, Plinko, looking... now Plinko, is that something you just made up? Because I've never heard of it. Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> They're, jeans. They're oversized jeans. No, no, no. So yet again, it's, uh, it does feel like I'm not so much of a coroner. I'm more of an explainer today. Uh, Plinko is the, uh, one, of the, one of the many popular games from the syndicated TV hit Price is Right with Bob Barker. I will never recognize Drew Carey as the heir of that show. Okay. Nice. Did you... Did you find anything in Bob Barker's? Did you do him at all? <laughs> Nothing more than... 11 pounds of undigested red meat in that man's colon. Ugh. Did you take I did what, take what did, it. Yes, I did. I did, did take it. Mm-hmm. And that's what you made. 
You, did you? That was one of the reasons I was cut out of Pawn Stars. We'll just oh. you're trying we'll to just sell like, the meat. I was trying to pawn it. What were you? I trying was behind to, on my rent. What can I say? What were you trying to get for the undigested meat? I, I, I looked Rick right in his bald fucking face and I said, I will not take less than $100,000 for these, <laughs> okay, that these like, pounds of this mound of raw meat. Because you got to think like they would have to sell yeah. it so quickly for it. To I was, I didn't want them to sell well, it. I was trying it. to pawn it. It's oh. raw Am meat. I going to have to explain the process of pawning items to you as well? <clears throat> but Ryan, you could cook it, make some little hamburgers, yeah. put them in the fridge, and then you could sell No, no, no. Later. See, you see Rick's meat ex. Rick's meat expert came in and just dragged me right over the coals because he said, if you cook it, you lose half the value right there. Also, uh, incidentally, half the weight. So, you know, got to got to defer to the experts. He was a he was a guy in a leather hat. OK, okay so what other what other things? So you cut the body open and I, do, do you determine the cause of death? Of or? course, of course. But I'll be honest with you. Uh, most of the job is pretty much Ritz and glamour. I'm more of a socialite than anything. I, I'm hanging out at these parties, you know, big Hollywood parties, if you imagine the type of type of thing that's going on in the beginning mm-hmm. of wet pockets nights. full of stuff no yeah yeah wet them. pockets yeah they call me old wet pockets and uh it's, old it's not because jack and wet pockets. it's not Kirby because they're jack full of... and wet pockets beagle tits <laughs> beagle tits my mother's name hyphenated she was a real bitch yeah you made that show right. anyways <laughs> you already did that anyways yeah business like i said folks business is a booming i want like i some some days i feel like the only blessed one on this earth because these celebrities they are falling left and right and old curvin is just mopping the floor now what'd you find in uh bob saget's body bob saget clean his whistle i gotta tell you and i you know how you know where that that term came from actually is if somebody really does have a clean, clean body, you can play them just like a whistle. Oh, Maybe yeah? You can play, what do you blow into? What do you think? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Ryan, what do you think? I'm guessing either if it's a guy, maybe the penis. It's the penis. Yep, okay. yep. It's- Blew right into Bob Saget's penis. Yeah, I played that man like a steam whistle. Okay. Can and, I ask uh, that's you- how you know. That's how you know. That's that's years of clean living. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he did have a massive heart attack. His yeah. chest basically caved in through the through the floor of his too, hotel yeah. room. Uh, but you know, I that, I chalked that up to just you know I don't know. What did maybe. you find in Betty White's? Betty White. Now that that was interesting. Uh, I found. I mean, what didn't I find in uh, in Betty hey, White? <laughs> We're being yeah, honest. Hey, yeah, have you I guys seen Jaws? Right. You know the scene in Jaws where they they kill the first shark and they think they got the boy. They got the 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 killer shark, so they they cut the shark's stomach open, waiting for the Kittner boy to spill out on the uh, dock. But yeah, really, it's just uh, old oil cans and and uh, maybe a Florida license plate, something like that. A couple heads of some smelt. Yeah, you're saying uh, you found the Rittner boy in Betty White's stomach. I found the, the yes, yes, I did. Uh, and also, you know, a sort of just she, I, I believe Betty Ritt, White, it was Rittenhouse, actually. She ate Kyle Rittenhouse. She did, she did. It was one of her last, uh, last moments of solidarity with the woke movement, I believe, was uh, eating Kyle Rittenhouse alive. And uh, can I, he was still alive when I found him in there. Oh, yeah. And near blew my fucking head off. I'll be honest that with dude, you, because yeah. I had also just pulled the skateboard out of Betty White, and he thought I was coming after him with it. But uh, yeah. you know, uh, it's crazy. I got a million Hollywood stories for you. That's just one. If I could redirect and just ask, uh, what's your favorite part of being a Hollywood? The penis. Man? Oh, I, sorry. Uh, being a t- Hollywood corner. Oh, it's the parties. It's the glitz and the glam for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's the, the, st- it's the status that you yeah, have. Yeah, exactly. Getting to getting to dice them up is just one of the many, many, so, many, many benefits. So when you're at these parties, do the celebrities talk to you? Do they enjoy your company or are they kind of fearful? No, typically they don't even know I'm there. I kind of I lurk. Oh, and I, I kind of hop from the shadow to shadow. So you're not really even invited, uh, you know, and I might be dropping a little fentanyl in the cocaine piles, you know, Whoa, like, that's, that's extremely little, dangerous. Do you want them to die so you can? <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, <laughs> oh Tommy! Is that your goal? Well, I mean, I'm a coroner. How the how the hell else do you think I'm gonna make a living out here, man? You've These really people are eating kale the, for every meal of the day. You've really coronored this market. Yes, sorry, yes, I no. Have. no, that's, sorry, okay. yeah, that's yeah. what it says on my business card. It's all right. Sorry, I'm bad at comedy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very stupid. Yeah, it's, right. you, you two should feel lucky. You're never going to be seeing me at a party. You you two won't get there. Yeah, I'm never going to be slipping, uh, Grant, slipping battery acid into your real acid. Grant probably will, though. Oh, what about Norman McDonald? Did you find anything in his body? 
Norm Macdonald. Norm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Norm Macdonald. <laughs> you, you don't know? <laughs> never heard he's, of like, he's like a great comedian. He, he, hmm. he passed away recently. Mm, nope. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. So are you shut, here? To, shut the fuck up, Tommy. Are you here? Are you here to promote anything or? Nah, I'm. I'm just. Well, you know. I mean, I will promote my business. What's uh, the name of your business? Curvin the Corner. Curvin. Okay. Curvin the Corner. <laughs> They're spelled it's a, it's differently. It's and a the corner word. store. Yes. Corner, <laughs> That's very good, Ryan. That That's very smart. good. Yes. This is yes, better yes. than what Tommy said. It is better what Tommy said. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I guess it was I'll better than what Tommy said, but that's my idea. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it was my, it was my idea for it to be better than what Tommy said. <laughs> I guess I can just promote. Uh, <laughs> I can promote. Uh, that's how you win. That's you, how you celebs. Win. If you're a celeb and you're listening to this. Just get out there, man. Live your life, you know. Have have some fun. Yeah. If, Who else died you know, recently? You know, uh, take take that car around the corner just a little bit too fast. You know, if you if you're yeah. if you're gonna get an Uber home, just drive, baby. You're famous. What's what's the worst that could happen? What? How did you get your corners? Did you, did you have to coroner's win an election? license? Did I have to win an election and my coroner's license? No, actually, I. Uh, well, you know, I probably shouldn't be saying this. So, uh, why don't you, hey, Grant? Why don't you go ahead out uh, edit this next part out? Uh, well, I, I I stole somebody's identity. I, I'm not the real Corvin Jackin. What's your real? Oh name? wow! My real name. <laughs> is, oh, it, is it Greg Pumpkins? <laughs> my real name is Greg Pumpkins. <laughs> and I talk like this. <laughs> but okay, wow. Grant, that's the end of the other point right there. Wait, and, uh, I want to hear okay, your so real anyways, voice. Yeah, I yeah. want to hear your real voice. <laughs> yeah, I talk like this. My name's Greg. So Craig, what do you do? Um, yeah, what what did you do before? I steal people's identities mostly. <laughs> okay. What I do, and and I I will say I'm a bit of a grave robber. <laughs> it's kind of like the, my, that's actually my main so thing. So what happened to the real Curvin Jack and Beagle tits? What do you think? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the real Curvin oh Jack and God. Beagle tits. <laughs> A man just what a man fuck? just come came up. Yeah. They came out of my pocket. <laughs> oh, back in my pocket, Kevin. I'm all wet and soggy. I've been in his pocket. Oh this is God. way too long. Hey, hey, come here. Get the fuck back in my pocket. <laughs> Don't put me little, back, please. Oh no. no. No, no, no. Kervin, get over here. We're gonna nope, you're getting the you're nope. getting the manhole. Please, all you're I want to do cover. is oh. operate on dead bodies again. <laughs> It, get back up below my chef's cap so you can help me guide me through these. Oh, no. Now, now shut Mr. the fuck up. Mr. Pumpkins, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so I'm going to try and avoid. Uh... Oh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill you. Please, I'm going to play you like a slide whistle boy. You know, I don't normally do this, but I think we need to maybe cut this interview short. <laughs> okay. What, what what are you what's wrong what what's wrong baby tell me tell me ryan you, well, what, are you, what are you 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 after you're a, trying to get into one of these parties i'll sneak you in under my no, hat it's just it's just that you know the real curve and jack and beagle tits was in your pocket somehow yeah. and it was <laughs> and then it turns Shut out the fuck up. your actual name is craig pumpkins yeah and you're like a con man okay if you could stop repeating it, it's a be well, much we, easier on Grant. He's going to have a lot of editing. To Grant, do, so. can I be honest with you? Grant yeah. doesn't edit anything. It's true, man. I don't actually. It will cost you five dollars an edit. God damn it! God damn it! My only weakness: five dollars per edit. Yeah. So uh, I want. I want to. You know what? Cut the interview short. I just want to. I just want to. I'm on the pod, man. I'm chopping it up with the boys. It's, this is good, man. This is good. Yeah. Thanks for. Thanks for coming on the pod. Are you ushering me out? Are you ushering uh, me out I mean, right now? Well, it's. I got a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> laundry. Yeah. Brian Laundry. Um, I cut that guy up. What? Brian Laundry. I found him. Okay. Who's that? He's, what about Epstein? Did you find anything in Epstein? I'm the one who killed Epstein, so uh, oh, nice. well, I just uh, Grant edit that. That's not true. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I cut Epstein open, and uh, also gotta say, clean living, man. <laughs> no evidence of any any wrongdoing in that man's body. Uh, um, really? <laughs> yes, there's really. no evidence. You know what I found in meatloaf? What? what? What did you find in meatloaf? Meatloaf. 
You know, I'll say this. <laughs> rest in peace to meatloaf. Somebody should have put that guy in the fridge. <laughs> I did. I did put him in the fridge. I thought somebody put all the bodies in the fridge. Somebody forgot to put meatloaf in the fridge. I did. I did a line of cocaine off meatloaf's penis. It was uh, really. It was meatloaf. He's the guy who died. Tommy. Meatloaf. <laughs> I would do anything for love. For some meatloaf. <laughs> for work. For- do that. Do any? How does the song go? I would do anything, anything for love. a slice of meatloaf. <laughs> this is good, you guys. I love the banter. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I think this was a. <laughs> so you, you, so you're ushering me out. This is. Huh? This is all. No, I'm just saying. I think, this is good, I think this is a good time, and good time. you know, it's good to, time had by all. As time as any to, to call just, this to call just this get you out of Grant's house. I can also tell the future. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll tell you this: okay. uh, Joe Biden is a body double. JFK is still alive. It's all yeah. real, folks. The storm is coming, so uh, just you know, keep that in mind. Um, if this is Where your first time listening, um, this is the best episode. So it doesn't get better. It does. Than this. It, it, it does not get better than this. It's this. I've I've listened. I've listened to every single episode, and I can safely say that this is the best episode that has been recorded <clears throat> up I until agree. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any wow. any last words? Uh, from Curvin or uh, Craig? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and follow me on social media, Curvin the Coroner, mm-hmm. Eagle Tits. Uh, subscribe, subscribe to the to podcast. my podcast. Yes. You have, yes. A, you have a podcast? Of course. Yeah. Everybody's got a podcast these days. What's the name of your podcast? Curvin Corvin Beetle Tits. The Sex Positive Podcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's sex positive. It's a feminist podcast. And, uh, okay. you know, yeah, a little fun. I take all the dead bodies and I kind of do a weekend at Bernie's thing with them. It's, 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 like a, it's a big lift for me. Yeah. I do a lot of, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a utility player on that podcast. I do it all, you know, so. Okay. Audio only. Well, Ron, definitely check that out. Any last any last thoughts? Um Yeah, we had a, we certainly had a guest today. And <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd I'd say you maybe even had 3. 3. We had a guest today. And a surprise one. Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh also follow me on Instagram. Oh, no, now he's out of Sandler. Pumpkins. Okay. Well, you know, I guess, uh, yeah, thanks for coming on the podcast. And uh, again, whoever wrote that anonymous apology, and I will find you. Um, I will beat the shit out of you in a mall. I will meet you at yeah, the mall. Yeah, do not, do not bum my friend Ryan out. I will meet you at he the mall. He got catfish this weekend, for God's sake. My fucking hard penis is um, out there somewhere. <laughs> and also, um, I will be opening up for Mary Mac in Wisconsin at the end of march and then we will be uh, i meant i meant like that's a hot show that's why i whistled like that so i if you're in the wisconsin area literally anywhere i think we're going to like six different places so maybe you can go to one of those places (laughs) um and then the boys we're going to be in chicago the fourth through the sixth of april yeah and then we're uh, closing that out at sisyphus the Seventh and the ninth, we'll be at Sisyphus. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. Seventh, eighth, and ninth. Yeah. So, um, we're doing yeah. the seventh too. Well, the seventh, open mic. We'll, we'll do the open mic, and then okay. eighth and ninth, we're gonna be, uh, you know, triple featuring that show. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna be mm-hmm. in New York City the week after that. New York City. Seventeenth Easter. That was a song that my parents would sing to me at all my birthdays. I, how do you know that? Yeah, song? that's the song my mom would sing me to, you know, go to bed, you know. What if that was a song that the the 9-11 pilots were just blaring as they, they ended it all? That'd be wild. Dude, that would be wild. What if that? that what if? What if that's what it is? What if that's what it, it was? All right, guys. New phone. Who am I? Be looking out. Post that. Everyone, post that. Post it up. Get get. Um, hey, guys, get up. Regardless of whether you're part of Winkles Nation, Red Nation, for RCU. Grant, yes. Get on your post. I've out. been Ryan Call for Ryan Call. He's been Tommy Bear. Who am I? 
And for Grant Winkles, he's yeah. been Ryan Call. And you're even listening to the We Cool Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>